and I've shot up more faces than LeBron James has shot threes. I'm coming to you live from downtown Los Angeles. They also call me Dr. Botox because I'm an Irish reality TV star and I did a lot of shows back across the pond. But don't worry, don't worry. But I was the villain. The rest of my co-stars, or as I like to call them, my supporting cast, they're all still in therapy, but I'm good. I got a green card. I did a lot of shows back across the pond guys don't judge one of the shows I did was called The Real Housewives of Ireland it happened and The Real Housewives of Ireland was called Southside Housewives Dublin Wives The Housewives of Dublin it had a million names because every season they wouldn't pay the license fee and they used to fight with Bravo and actually I sided with Bravo because they used to swipe the likeness we used to do all these opening you know in the gold dresses I'm the only girl in the world wearing gold dress by the way this is my merch Diary of a Botox Bitch merch it's a collab with Pablo Flamingo a clothing brand here in LA so my pronouns are Botox but I did a lot of reality TV shows back across the pond like I said I'm good I was the villain the rest of my co-stars they're all back across the pond in therapy but I'm all good and one of the other shows I did was called The Real Housewives of Ireland uh, which was like The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills but less money like a lot less money I also did a show called Celebrity Big Brother in the UK which is a lot like well it's a lot like Big Brother but a lot less celebrity called Dr. Botox by the British tabloids they quickly dubbed me Dr. Botox and I hosted a show called 50 Plastic Surgery Shockers or as I like to call it 50 Fucked Up Faces as you can tell, I have a massive hematoma bruise here. Actually, I should probably, I should probably dab a little bit of this on it, but whatever. Who cares? I had my Botox done. I have a slight ptosis here, but it's fine. It'll be gone in like five or six days. Not a big deal. Put a few little drops of iodine. The thing is, actually, I rang Allergan and I was like, hi, it's Dr. Botox from the Real Housewives of Ireland. Uh, I'm in Los Angeles. I can't get home to do my own Botox, but like I have the biggest clinic in Ireland. Also clinical director of Harley Street by the age of 30. So hook a bitch up. Allergan were like uh, cute, but go fuck yourself. So I had to find a, so I went to a Russian Botox bitch down in the Wilshire corridor. She did a great job. So I had my Botox done about two weeks ago and then she did my lips. And my lips are great. A bruise here. She did a little bit in my marionettes as well. Like whatever, who cares? Also, I can't barely sit down today because I went to this great gym called Cosmo Contour in the Valley. So thank you so much for amazing complimentary afternoon there. I mean, both from the point of view of you do exercise in capsules in red light and it burns more calories. Well, it says it does anyway. And then also they have these amazing rollers which are great for cellulite, etc. But actually, medically, they were stupendous. They were just so, so good for... I have a little injury at the moment and it's almost like a foam roller but on steroids. So... Cosmo Contour, thank you. I was going to delay filming the first and second episode of a Diary of a Botox Bitch podcast and then I thought, who cares? I may as well come on and say, yes, I've got a bruise because if you're getting filler, you may as well know there's a risk of bruising and swelling. So on this show, we're going to talk about all things reality TV, spilling the tea. And it's so funny because I've done three of the biggest franchises. I'm basically a reality TV gun for hire. I also do a lot of stand-up comedy. So this week I was at the store in La Jolla and I was opening... The show there, what well, the host obviously did a cold open and then I was opening afterwards and then coming up I'm at Ice House and Comedy Store and Sunset the next month, everything link in the bio and also my skincare, we're super busy but also this show I just wanted to let you know is sponsored by Dermaface MD and Dermaface MD skincare is made in California, it's cruelty free, it's Sleeping Bunny certified and basically my original brand in Europe for t- over 10 years was Dermaface which is Botox and filler and I also had Dermadental which was teeth whitening and so uh, this is very much an established brand in Europe but newer to California and I'll explain. So I get a little bit more comfortable how I end up formulating this because it involves a story concerning skin cancers uh, you know freaking out, I can barely say it myself they say time plus trauma means you can deal with things I don't know if anyone can ever deal with um, skin care, cancer it freaks me out but the long and the short of it is I had to have some things removed and in fact one I had removed right before I did Celebrity Big Brother in the UK so much so that I was taking out my own sutures in the hotel where they had us in hiding before we went into the actual Celebrity Big Brother house which by the way was completely filthy disgusting um, there was crumbs all over the floor they didn't feed us properly it was just horrible the money you get paid it's not worth it whatever okay I, I still talk to the producer, so hey Roz, I love you. The advanced skincare is advanced at 1000x hyaluronic acid. And the reason I formulated this was because after I had something removed and did Celebrity Big Brother, I then came out and went back to Ireland and did a treatment of FEDX for a month, which burnt my own face off. It's horrible. Far too aggressive if you ask me, but you know, whatever. So afterwards, my skin barrier was really broken. So that's why I came up with Germa Face MD. So we'll talk more about that and the other skincare in the section, which we call Botox, which is a subsection within podcast. I have a Botox bitch. And I'll also read an excerpt from my book at the end 
end which is my book diary of a Botox bitch as always um, merch this today I'm wearing my pronouns are Botox bitch and this is a collab with a LA designer called Pablo Flamingo and this is a collab uh, that I've done and we also have another one diary of a Botox bitch as well so this one just says my pronouns are Botox bitch and I'll go on stage tonight and do comedy and probably wear this I'm not going to change hugely might put a bit more concealer on my bruise but actually it's not too bad I remember one time I did my own so I normally typically do my own Botox I'm the best person I know for Botox so I'm just going to say it Botox bitch uh, hooks herself up but one time I did do my own lips and I'm right handed so I did a great job on this side and then when I came to this side I totally screwed it up I had a massive hematoma so this by comparison is nothing because I remember going to one of my colleagues and being like oh my goodness what am I going to do this my lip was like just so bad it's like the time when I actually had a few decks treatment going on. I still work through it. And I just said to patients, so, you know, I had chemical peel. Like, it's so funny. I never, even now, I, I feel like I want to share. Oh, I should take a breath. I want to share the behind the scenes of why I formulated this product to fix my own skin barrier. But I'm also, you know, not totally comfortable with going into it. I, I saw my clinics a couple of years ago and retired and I've had a great couple of years uh, even with the pandemic I got stuck in LA but you know it's nice to take time out and be, everyone knows me unless I've unless I've stuff to sell and promote I keep a low profile so we have Dermaface MD and also Aerospace MD is my other brand because I am dual qualified I, I'm an aerospace engineer was my first degree and I love sailing and I sailed across the Atlantic Florida to Portsmouth in the UK and I have a yacht masters and I'm just kind of I think it's really important this this product is insane it's advanced detoxifying oxygenating more Moisturizer, so this gets rid of all the toxins. So at the end of the day, especially living in a big city, you can put this on after you wash your face and just leave it on for two or three minutes, and it's oxygenating moisturizer, which is amazing. I also, as well, to be honest with you, with regard to hyaluronic serums, it's really important to realize that you want to tap tap them onto wet skin because if you're having hyaluronic injected in the form of fillers, it's going to be injected and the needle will deliver the really big molecules, which is amazing. But in this case, the Dermaface MD topical, so you don't have the same luxury knowing that the product is definitely going to get deep in so you have to formulate a product that is a mix of a medium weight hyaluronic and a heavier weighted hyaluronic and then that it will hopefully ideally actually go into the skin barrier and cross the skin barrier itself so yeah this is the limited edition for q then the original the or is in white and again they're the same product the same formulation this is a limited edition so let's go to the website and tiktok your usual places that you purchase free shipping over 40 dollars and right now we are shipping in America and Canada and if shipping to Ireland probably the